Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome back to the channel always with you Nishar Ferry. In this video you are going to see how we can set up Spotless which is a code formatter in our code base in Android project. Let's get started. So Spotless is a plugin, it's a Gradle plugin, you can apply it in Gradle, Maven and everything and it can format many many code bases. The beauty is that it can find formatting errors and also fix them and you can apply whatever lint tool you want to use. For example, we can use KTLint for example, which is a popular one. So let's get started with this one. So first we are going to do the setup, we are trying to see how it will fix the error. We are going also to apply it whenever we are compiling our code. So whenever we are running the application, we will reformat. So we can see how we can set up this dependency structure. Also, I will show you another plugin, which is Spotless plugin that will allow you to format specific files, maybe if you want that specifically. And finally, we are going to set setup in GitHub Action, like the CI, to check whether the formatting is good or not, it's correct or not. So with all of these steps, you will be set up ready for using Spotless. So the first thing, try to search for one plugin called Spotless. This one, Spotless Gradle, this cool plugin. Later on, what it allows you to do, it allows you to do the code and then reformat the file with Spotless, okay? It will run the Gradle task for you with the specific parameter for the file. So how can we set up this thing? go to your lips first we are going to add uh, things to the lips here we are going to add the plugin so it would be pretty simple this is the plugin this is the spotless plugin also we are going to use ktlint so and let's add the version of ktlint because you are going to use it that's the first step then go here now here is the thing of course you need to apply the plugin somehow so it will be just spotless in our case like that without applying it and then we need to apply it for the modules here's the thing a lot of time you are going to have many modules and if you want to apply this to all modules at once, you can do it in two manners. You can create build script, which is or build logic, which is convention plugins, then you can apply it every time, or we are going to do it from here directly for all the sub projects, okay? The beauty with the other approach is that you can define it for specific modules, but a lot of the time you are going to apply it to all the modules. So how we do it, we are going to get to the sub projects and here we need to apply the plugin and you can apply it like the following, just search for spotless plugin, okay, plugin, this one, then we need to configure it, okay, so we need to configure the plugin, which is the spotless extension here, and then we need to configure it. For the configuration, we are going to configure two things, for Kotlin and for KTS. Okay, you can apply to anything for Java, for any languages, like you saw, uh, it has many, many languages. So it will include Kotlin like that. So this is Kotlin, we need also to set up, for example, Kotlin Gradle, like that. This is the thing. Now for each one of these, we need to tell it what is the target, okay? What are the files that you are going to uh, reformat? So we can add target like that. And here basically, since you are inside project, so it means you are inside this app, for example, or inside another module, we are going to access directly this folder. So it will be CRC, okay? And every time in this CRC match anything, like any path, but that path should at the end contain something.kt. That's it. Then a lot of times you want to exclude certain files. A lot of times it will be the build files. So you can do the same thing, target and exclude. And here instead of CRC, since you will be here at the build, you can do build.anything.kt. Okay, that way you can exclude those build files. After that, we need to set up KTLint. Okay, so as I said, there are many things, many linters. There are KTLint, KTFMT. I think there is Dictat also. Yeah, Dictat is here. Uh, so I'm going to use KTLint. You can set it just like that. It will use the default version, but you are going to specify our own version. This is how we can specify our own version from the KTLint. We can get it and then we can pass it here. All right, you can also set specific parameters to KTLint. Right? You can do it either here by setting editor config override. You can pass your specific stuff. We are going to see what are those stuff, but we are going to add them via one extra file here. We are going to add it like the following. It will be just dot editor config. All right. And as a sample, what we are going to include, we are going to include the following. First, we are going to disable the trailing comma for both definition and call site. And also we want to ignore uh, specific function names because right now function names should start with smaller letters, but in Compose, we usually don't, right? So we can ignore it for those annotated with this stuff. By default, it will find like KTLint, it will use directly this editor config, but if you want to override the path also, you can set the following set editor config path, all right? You can specify the path there. Then there are other stuff you can play with. For example, there is this ratchet from, there is end with a new line, for example, every time you are going to end with a new line, indent with the spaces, for example. You can also set specific indents directly here in the 
config like this is flexible for you of course and as i said like you can explore here and see what are the different stuff for example there is uh, exactly this ratchet from this one would work like the following it will only target the file that has changed since the branch you specify for example if i set it like that and i will tell it for example origin develop right it will always compare what are the file that has changed since this branch like your branch are using to this branch and it will only reformat those files the reason is that that way we can't introduce a lot of big diff okay you can specify that but that for, enough for the moment same thing we are going to do it here in Kotlin Gradle and also we need to target the file what are the targets basically since you are here it will be anything that end with KTS all right cool now we are done actually we can try the spotless here I will show you how you can try it I will change two files and see whether it will format it or not so here I'm going to add extra spaces and here in the, let me switch this one, in the main activity, for example, let me just do this thing and have it like that, for example, just like that. And now what you can do, you can go to your Gradle files or your Gradle tasks here, and then you can go to the task and others, and you can simply do, I think, where is spotless, you can find here spotless immediately. You can do it via here, via this one, I think it is in the verification, exactly. Spotless apply, you can apply and you can check. You can also do it from here, Kotlin, and reformat all files with spotless. Okay, so we are going to do it here. We are going first to apply them. Try the apply, it will run, and then boom. As you can see, it has changed here. Otherwise, if I, you can also see that this one changed. So let me redo it again. And let me put this one here, for example, like that. And then do check. Here it will tell me like, these two files has problem. The first one has problem here, for example and the other, it will tell me which file exactly. So that's it, this is how you can configure Spotless for your code base. Now, you can do this process automatically, you don't have to apply it every time, you can do it in two ways. You can do it whenever you are committing files, so here you need to do some kind of pre-commit hook, okay? But here you need to write an extra Gradle file that will be invoked by Git, so whenever you are doing that, it will be a little bit complex to uh, implement it in this video. Let me know in the comments below whether uh, you want to see the implementation there. But I will show you a simple and an effective way, which is every time you are going to run your code, right? So every time, whenever you run the application, you want this to happen automatically. So we can do it here. Go back to your spot list here and do the following. Do after evaluate, after evaluate what we want to do we want to search for all the tasks that end up with or has kotlin compilation right and then after those tasks we want to execute this one right so you can do it like that tasks with type and here you want to search for kotlin compile this one and then simply you want to do the following you do want to do finalize by and here you just pass the name of the task which is spotless apply all right so that's basically it just sync your project you can see that we have this issues. So now what you can do, you can run your application and then part of running the application, don't need this one, you can see it was reformatted. And you can check that here, go to the build and here go for the all the files, all the steps and you will see that there is spotless. If you can check spotless here, exactly here is spotless, it was running, all right? So this is the idea, this is how we can specify and make this run automatically, okay? The last step I want to show you is that how you can set up this thing to check automatically for your PRs, for example, so that all the team are on the same page for formatting. So you do it like the following. Here we are going to add it directly to GitHub Action. So first you need to add the file, which is like the following. Just add it to the dot GitHub slash workflows. And here you need to give it a name. For example, I'm going to do a spotless check that YML file. And here I'm not going to explain exactly how you can create such file. I already made a video. You can check it in the card above on how to create GitHub Actions specifically for your Android project. So this is it, this is pretty simple stuff. Whenever we are pushing to the main branch or opening pull request, so we are going to run the following job. It run on this Linux image, and then it will check out the code. It will simply add a Java. And here you need to do something because it won't work like that. You need to enable Gradle to run automatically. So here we are setting up Gradle and then we are checking the style. This is the thing we want to execute. So let's add the project to GitHub 
and see how it works. So here is the project on GitHub. This is a simple project. This is our file. And here I wanted to show you before that, this is the KT9 we are using. You can go directly to this documentation and here you are going to see all the rules you are going to use. For example, you can set up the code style. You can set up standard rules, for example. Let's say you want, you want to disable some rule, for example. Let's pretend, for example, you are going to uh, disable wild import, for example. Now wild import, for example, you can do it like that. How you can disable it, go here, and then just copy this one and you can put it directly into your editor config and then paste it here. A lot of times Android Studio will complain, but this is fine, it will work for your case, all right? So let's create PR with the problems. So let's pretend I'm having the following like that and let's put it like the following. Okay, this wouldn't work. Let's do it like that, for example. Let's have this one here, for example, like simple changes also to the main one. Let me do it like that. For example, like wrong formatting and let's create PR like that. So I'm going to create a new branch actually test and then add everything and let's push it. We will open a PR like that and here testing, you will see, I'm just running to see that it will fail. So we need to see one task we run here. Exactly, it started. So we did many changes actually. We formatted many wrong stuff. So it should fail. I'm using also a plugin which is KTLint plugin. It will also help you format this file if you want via a KTLint. But a lot of time, since you are working with a teammate, a lot of time people won't do that. So it's better to have something automatic that will run automatically, such as spotless. This will make your code spotless. Exactly as you can see, it fails. You can go why it fails here in the style. And exactly as I told you, it won't work. We need to add the following, which is to grant the execution for the Gradle wrap. I forgot to tell you so, so we are going to add it like following. That's why it didn't work, there's this issue. Now let's get back because we pushed another version. So let's check it. This should work actually. It should work in the sense it will check the style and it will see that it will fail. So you can see it is failing. It will tell you like spotless check has failed. Okay, that's the beauty. Now every time in pull request you will see this one is failing, you need to fix it. So the fix will be easier, like we just need to run our code base. This will make sure that everything will run automatically. It will make sure that everything will be get formatted. Now you are going to see that a lot of files have changed, fixing style, and just push the code and everything will be set up. All right, that's basically how you work with spotless in your code base. I want to emphasize again on this rule, a lot of times you need to specify certain stuff such as the indentation, the spaces, uh, like something specific to the code style you are using with your team. Okay, so that's basically the idea. Just check what code style you work best with your team and just make some tweakings to the style here, to the rules, see what are experimental rules so you can keep whatever you like and remove whatever you like also. All right, so I think, yeah, exactly it is passing. Now you can get back here and you can see that everything is passing and this is how you can apply it. Okay, so that's basically the idea. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to keep your code spotless and also to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.